It's been three months since we installed this Gen 3 Starlink on the roof of our new home, so in three minutes, I'm gonna tell you how it's been starting now. By far the biggest difference between our previous Gen 2 and this Gen 3 is the new router design. Not only does it have Wi-Fi 6 speeds, but it's fixed the range issue that we had with the previous router. So anywhere in our house, we can now connect to the Starlink, including the Tesla from the carport, which was a massive issue for us in the past. It also has two ethernet ports on the back. And because this is a new home, we were able to run data cables to wherever we needed in the house. And that's already been super useful. There does also seem to be quite a good improvement in upload speed, which is especially useful for uploading YouTube videos like this. Another benefit is the new dish design which has a wider field of view and it also looks quite a bit better which is important for us because I decided to mount it right at the front of our house. But you do have to manually align the Gen 3 Starlink whereas with Gen 2 it just rotates itself depending on what's happening up in space. Now in our region it wants to be facing towards the south which in fact works perfectly with the slope of our roof. And we did buy the wall mount adapter which was $155 which feels way too expensive but it is something that you kind of need if you want that really good mounting option for the side of your house or on the roof and it does work really well if you do want to adjust the alignment of the dish you just turn the dial and it's buttery smooth so the unit actually comes with a 10 meter long cable to connect the dish all the way through to the router so we just made sure we planned this out and got the electrician to run it through the house into a dedicated spot for the router to sit also at this point i feel like our house could be on an official starlink ad just saying now because we're located in regional victoria the only other option for internet here was nbn wireless and although that's cheaper the average speed that you can expect to get speaking with some of the locals here is between 20 and 30 megabits per second which for us just wasn't going to cut it and the speed differences are night and day i've just done a speed test inside and we pulled over 400 download now i would say realistically we probably do average between 200 and 300 on a daily basis but yeah starlink was really our only option energy usage is about the same as the gen 2 version which is quite a bit more than a normal wi-fi router but considering what Starlink's doing and communicating with satellites up in space, I think that's understandable, but it is something to keep in mind. We have been using the timer setting within the Starlink app, so it switches off the dish overnight to just save a little bit of energy. The app also shows you a bunch of really cool stats, including energy usage. And one of the things I absolutely love about Starlink is they have an awesome referral program. So if you use my link, I get a free month and you get a free month. So everybody wins. Anyway, I hope this was helpful. I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.